Okay, so I'm going to try something uh, which might be a little bit of fun with my camera and with you. And I'm going to have to put this on. Put my camera on manual focus. Try that. Repeat the uh, measurement I made that showed the uh, problem. Now, of course, the the uh, capacitor here—it's it's this one, this one right here—it seems to be behaving okay. Just check another voltage down here. Okay, so this is the suspect capacitor on this side of it. <coughs> Let me just zero back my meter properly here. Dissuading myself now of what I was convinced of at the end of the last video, which was that this capacitor was leaking positive voltage up. Now, where else could positive? How else could positive voltage get into there? So if we look here on the circuit diagram, listen to the volume. significant jump. It's going to be a defective uh, 12BE6 vacuum tube. The, uh, the voltage jumped on the meter. It's moving now. It's going more positive. More positive. So how can it do that?
with the signal, can I? Well, let's take a look anyway. You can see there's two things connected to that terminal. One is this 47 ohm resistor, and the other one is a like a one looks like a brown black green it's a <clears throat> one mega ohm I believe look on the schematic and uh, sure enough there's the one mega it's going all the way over here circuit but it's on the right uh, spot. Um, hmm. I'm going to study this for a little bit. Okay, so we're just listening to the uh, the IF listening to the radio and I'm putting in an IF frequency 455 and uh, I've left the radio running for I don't know, about maybe 30 minutes I guess I've come back to it and it seems very very stable now Good volume. Hard to believe an alignment would make that much difference. What happened to all the funniness? All the weirdness? <clears throat> well, I think it's time to try it as a regular radio, so let's. that off the IF. Put it onto the antenna. And we will the band switch and uh, let me just take a peek at the cabinet and figure out how the band switch works is no help at all. Well, that's interesting. There's uh, this radio comes with some markings on the front here <coughs> for doing the alignment. That's the uh, IF leaking through, and then there's nothing. So the nothing is phono, AM, shortwave one, shortwave two. That's my guess. So that would be AM. So let's let's go up in frequency here. Let's see if I can get you in.
there's that noise coming back. sitting here. Now I gotta turn the turn it way up.
Okay, let's see. Um, but what was that? Yeah, let's put this guy on full voltage here. Won't be much different. What the heck was that? <laughs> I just imagine that. What was that? Holy jumper. I'm going to have to stop the video <laughs> and take a look at it. What? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I don't know if that was the voice of God or what. What did I hear? Oh, man. That's, uh... <laughs> yeah, i got to stop the video and check this out. Okay, okay, I, I've watched the uh, video, and uh, this is turned off right now. And uh, after watching it a few times, I noticed the meter back here uh, jumps downwards. Uh, certainly uh, makes it look like something's occurring with the radio. Um, I <laughs> Sitting here in the shop, the sound was a little bit undescribable and could have been coming from almost anywhere you know it just lasts a fraction of a second maybe I was turning my head at the time or something but boy that just weirded me right, <laughs> right out I had, I had no idea what that was I still don't know so if you know as I had switched from running uh, um, with the uh, protective light bulb in series with the radio uh, I'm sure the bulk of the voltage was reaching the radio but just before the strange occurrence I did apply full voltage so you know we can be running something right near the edge and, uh, and obviously uh, push it over by raising that voltage just that little bit so I think that's it for for now though uh, I'll get back at this uh, real soon, so thanks for watching.